Welcome back. As you've seen in our last video, we looked at creating data-driven virtual services and tests with uh, data stored in Excel. Uh, in this video, I'm joined by Prasad Kona again, who will be showing us this time how to use Data Finder to build all that test data and how to push all that data into a database. If you want more information on Data Finder, you can see it in the About section of this video. Um, Prasad, Show us how we leverage Data Finder to build that synthetic data for our virtual services. Uh, data Finder enables one to you know, improve the test, uh, testing practices by provisioning the right data to the right place at the right time for testing. Uh, our project has already been set up to create uh, new customers with uh, uh, with proper addresses uh, with 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 cards of various types uh, uh, for for each uh, customer account. Uh, so I'm going to show you how the data can be generated using Data Finder. One would be able to publish data to uh, to one or more more targets, uh, whether it is uh, databases to Excel uh, or or to files. Let's see uh, some of the data that uh, has been uh, 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 generated. Uh, we can uh, look for some of the, the customers here. And uh, I have a, uh, and I'm going to show you how we can uh, use this uh, with virtual services. I have a data-driven virtual services that uh, consumes uh, data from uh, uh, from this particular uh, uh, customer and cards tables. I have a RESTful service uh, similar to what we used earlier. I'm uh, using the newly generated uh, uh, user and uh, by clicking on te uh, test, we can see the response that uh, with details for this particular user directly from the database. And so once we drive this, once we drive those services with the created data, can we change or adjust the data set and see how the changes affect the service? Yeah, uh, we can uh, definitely do, do that. Uh, we have a RESTful uh, service that can be invoked to automatically generate a new test data. And once the test data uh, has been generated, we can uh, immediately consume consume the data without any updates or restarts to the virtual service, and the virtual service can now handle all the new data scenarios for which uh, uh, Data Finder has generated uh, uh, test data. So Data Finder will generate all this data for us, and it will use real setups for data that can generate real credit card IDs that work in the system, real email addresses, names, addresses hundreds of different types of data, all based upon our production data, and inform our virtual services about it immediately. That's a very powerful and pretty easy to use solution here um, for a pretty complicated business problem. So thank you very much for showing this today, Prasad. Thanks, Ian. If you have any other questions, uh, you can ask your questions in communities.ca.com. This video is posted there as well. Um, just search for Data Finder Virtual Services. Thank you.